Let's try web scraping with ChatGPT. First choose a target website like Amazon.com or IMDB.com. I am targeting this website. Bookstescrape.com and this is how it looked like. It contains some books data like cover image of the book, title, ratting, price and few more. I want to scrape all this data and I will ask ChatGPT to write Python code for me. Just go to ChatGPT site and type web scrape books to scrape.com using Python and beautiful soup. In case you didn't notice, I didn't mention what data I want to scrape and we will let ChatGPT will figure it out on its own. Now, ChatGPT is generating our Python code and it will be ready in few seconds. As you can see here, it's saying about some warning related to their policy. Just ignore it. And our code is created in chunks. So just type, write code in one file. And now it will merge all code in one place. So it will be easy for us to copy and paste. Now code is ready. Let's copy this code and paste it in our app.py file. Save this file and run this using command python app.py. Look at this guys, we just scrape a website successfully. Take a look at data. We got title and price for every book from our target URL. What if I want more data? Let's say I want URL link to each book. Well, it's easy. Just ask ChatGPT to scrape URL link for each book. Now it will modify our code so that we can scrape title, price, and link for each book. Let's copy this new code and paste it here. Save it and run this file. Boom, now we are getting title, price, and URL link for each book. Let's go next level. As you can see, right now we are printing our code in console. What if we want to export all this data into some file like CSV or JSON or XML file? Well, it's easy. Just ask ChatGPT to export the data into CSV file. And it will modify our code according to that. Let's copy this code and paste it. Save the file and then run this file. As you can see, we got nothing in our console. But now we have a books.csv file generated here. And this file contain all our data that we scraped from our target website. Let's take a look. There is one error here. We got this weird character instead of pound sign. This happens when we don't use UTF-8 encoding while writing to file. To correct this error, just ask ChatGPT to use UTF-8 encoding. And it will do some modification to our code. Let's copy this code and paste it. Save the file and then run this file. Now when open our book.csv file, we can see a pound sign. We can export data into JSON format. And we can web scrape some other website like Amazon or eBay. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.